This is the Adventist Health Ministry Report for 2021. The main objective of the department for the last 20 years has been to help every church become a center of hope and healing and to help each member share wholeness and serve all. The new logo of the department emphasizes the notion of service. We started the continuum with the gradual recession of the Ebola outbreak in Sierra Leone, Guinea, and Liberia, with more than 28 cases and over 11,000 deaths. Several church programs were affected and traveling was restricted within the division and abroad. The last country to be free of Ebola was Liberia on the 16th of January 2016. With the collaboration of the Ministerial Association, we contributed to the training of pastors, shepherdesses, and PKs in Yaoundé, Cameroon Union, in Yamusukro in Eastern Sahel Union Mission, in Jengri for Northern Nigeria Union Conference, in Monrovia in Liberia, and in Abidjan for the Côte d'Ivoire Conference. Head leaders in our territory benefited from 12 advisories at the division office in Kenya for Adventist Aid International Ministry and in the 10 unions. The last advisory with the GC was through Zoom. Unfortunately, the new union head ministry director came to the office after all this. Know Your Numbers is one of the major programs that is popular in our churches and communities in evangelistic and workers' meetings. The numbers check are the body mass index, the blood pressure, and blood sugar. In addition to this, some fields have added to the screening, uh, have added to the screening hepatitis B and C, HIV, breast and cervical cancer, and prostate hypertrophy. Know your numbers have saved several lives from the terrible complication of hypertension and diabetes. The most recent major Know Your Numbers programs were organized in Dakar, Senegal, in Abidjan during the Global Youth Day, in Meridian Conference in Southern Ghana Union Conference, and in Toulouse in the western part of Côte d'Ivoire. Adventist Health Ministry through the Comprehensive Health Ministry is the right hand of the gospel. That is why the department is fully involved in evangelism, either in the building of relationships in the communities through Know Your Numbers and Celebration, or in the preaching of the gospel in places such as Rumangye in Yaoundé, Bobo Julasso in Burkina Faso, and Bukuru Church Express in Northern Nigeria Union Conference, with the baptism of several souls. Through the support of the Division Personal Ministry Director, we are carrying out health caravan in the unentered areas in the Mbam and Sanaga Conference in Cameroon. After the caravans, two pioneers will have the responsibility to plant churches in those areas. Trainings are one of the major ways we disseminate health information among health ministries, leaders, and church members. Trainings on, on smoking cessation programs in the, trans, in the transition from the five-day plan to stop smoking to breathe free 2.0 took place in Mali, Senegal, Marwa, and Nangab Eboko in Cameroon and Tulepleu in Côte d'Ivoire with the support of Adventist Mission. In addition, medical missionaries were trained by light in Northern Nigeria Union Conference in Liberia. The trainings in Lome, Togo, Yaoundé, Beto, and Cameroon benefited from the support of the Division Personnel Ministry and the independent organization light. We developed Sabbath, Sabbath morning health presentation on mental health for local churches of the division. A sister division, SID, adopted this presentation for the local churches in its territory. Very soon, we are going to launch a new series of Sabbath school morning 
Sabbath morning presentation on temperance for local churches. Dr. Soki Prim in Eastern Nigeria Union Conference developed also a series of health readings for the local churches in Portacot Conference. He also developed several programs on addiction for the local radio station in Portacot. From October 3rd to 7th this year, the GC trained the White Health leaders from the unions and conferences on lifestyle coaching. We received 70 applications from the unions. We admitted 41 persons, but only 13 could attend the five-day training. The major challenge was the lack of good internet connection. Next, November 17, we are going to host another Zoom training on recovery from addiction. We hope our colleagues from the unions and the conferences will secure a better internet connection. In 2020, just four years into the Kenkenium, appeared a major sanitary crisis due to COVID-19. With the confinement, social distancing, closure of school and offices, several people lost their jobs. The department contributed in advising the administration on the necessary steps on the progress of the epidemics and on the research for lasting solution. When the vaccine appeared, the con conspiracy theories and the fake news circulated on social media were overwhelming for some church members. With the support of the GC Health Ministry Department and Loma Linda University, several Zoom meetings discussed the science behind COVID-19 and, and its vaccination. In addition, the emphasis resided on the exacerbation of mental health issues in the communities and the position of the church on immunization. Today, the number of confirmed cases is above 300 million, with 5 million deaths worldwide. Surely, several church members will have passed away due to COVID-19, but we will always keep the sweet memories of Dr. Emmanuel Belosilo, Dr. Ari Owusu-Boateng, Pastor Brigido Jimenez from Equatorial Guinea, and the retiree Pastor Joseph Gaston Ku from Cameroon. COVID-19 is real, and each one of us needs to take precautionary measures to protect those around us. Why is blessed with 32 hospitals, 49 health centers and clinics and dispensary, one medical school and more than five nursing training schools. These institutions are going through financial difficulties due to COVID-19. In addition, COSA Adventist Hospital in Cameroon Union Mission lost some of its roofs after a tornado. Two of our health institutions need our prayers and our support the Nyagis Adventist Dispensary in Senegal can no more pay the salaries of its personnel, and the Adventist Center, Health Center in Brazzaville, Congo. That the government of Congo Brazzaville returned to the church years after its destruction from a bomb explosion from the nearby military barrack. The local administration, church administration, has worked to make one building functional and uh, we receive 50,000 US dollars to help uh, from the China Union Mission and the GC that we distributed to the health institution in our division. Recently, we received a 7,000 US dollars donation from the health department at the GC for face mask. After consultation with the GC and some union director, we decided to share it among health centers and dispensary. In addition to the global meeting organized in WAD in 2015, we attended other global health meetings in Loma Linda University, and more especially, the third global health conference on health and lifestyle under the team 
your brain, your body. The preliminary report on the result of the first African study of the Seventh-day Adventist is under scrutiny. The final report will soon be out from the Adventist University of Africa. May God bless you. Thank you.